hello all welcome to my guru cool so today's activity is with green peas or mutters mutter right so we have five activities for with green peas now the materials required is along with green peas you will le- need um, bowls make sure that you can pick up any bowl which is uh, safe even if it falls it doesn't break and when it has been hit with the spoon it should make some kind of a sound right so please don't prefer glass bowls you can go with any of these plastic bowls the steel bowls smaller bowls bigger bowls but the same bowl should be at least 5 to 6 in number okay so i'm just showing you i picked up this bigger bowls and i have five of them with me right and then along with these bowls you will need a spoon and you will need a, a forcep right or a tweezer if you don't have that don't worry use a cloth clip the cloth clip is easily available in the house of course the uh, tweezer and the cloth clip uh, work in the opposite directions but it is okay it's all fine it helps in the fine motor skill development of the fine motor skill of the child so this is all we need a cloth clip or a tweezer a uh, spoon then at least five set of bowls and green peas so let's get started with our activities and kairav is there to help us around with so the first activity using the the tweezer the child is supposed to pick up the green pea and put it into a bowl if you don't have the tweezer then he or she can use the cloth clip and put it into a bowl now this is before opening the i mean we have not op- uh, asked the child to open the green peas up so while you are probably trying to open the green peas in the house and a child is disturbing give them this activity so you can continue to do your work while they will be playing like this with their in, in two different bowls okay you can put it onto a newspaper also i have given the bowl to him all right so you can observe it and ask the child to pick up only one at a time all right so i have asked kairav to pick one at a time now what will happen if they do two or three together uh they might finish up quickly and again start uh, probably um, start asking you for more activities or start asking for your attention so ask them to do one by one so the second activity with these you make a pattern for them using using these green peas so i'm just making roughly some pattern i've just made a a I'm not an a shape i mean not alphabets i'm not teaching alphabets i'm just making some patterns right sleeping line standing line slanting line just made a pattern looking at the child needs to copy the same and do it using the green piece <coughs> you can see i'm giving this to kairaf i've asked kairaf to try to make the same pattern all right so let's see if he's able to do it they might make mistake it might not be resembling exactly the same but let them try their best so this is just one pattern you can try as many patterns as possible you can make any patterns with these you can make complicated patterns also and give it to your child based on their age now this can be played uh, by children who are 2 plus year start with the simple pattern of standing line and sleeping line and they need to copy the same thing mm, and then make it complicated to children who are even 7 plus or 8 plus years old right 8 8 years old now why this is uh, why in what way this activity is going to help is logical thinking that means i need to logically think what is the pattern there i need to assume that pattern or make the pattern in that into my mind and hence move my hand in the same way so it is reasoning logical thinking hand and eye coordination so this is for us to help them think in a a different way all right get creative so simple designs i have given you you can just make uh, something like this right two together and then one and then two so this i will have to repeat this i'm just showing you few 
the first activity where they had to pick the green peas with the uh, with the clutchers or with the um, tweezer is to help their fine motor skill or to develop or help their uh, muscles which are used in writing now this is the third activity third activity is a simple one peeling the peas off all right or they need to just take out the uh, peas from the um, the shell sorry all right so you can see what kind of is doing what i am trying to do is i am trying to just snip off the corner so that it is uh, easy of course children who are a little a that is 5 plus can do it by themselves but then i am just snipping off only the corner and giving giving it to him now this activity improves or helps in their confidence that they are able to peel it off right take the green peas out will help them in their eating habits because they know that they have done it so this thing if they see the green peas in their food they feel okay it is me who has done it so i will have it right and hand and eye coordination the next activity this is really a very good one this and the next one is amazing so you can arrange these bowls in any pattern you want so whether it is a straight line or a circle right i point out the bowl and i tell that there are two pieces supposed to be going there this is for their mathematical skills and also their memory because they need to remember which bowl i had pointed out so for their memory and their mathematical skills along with their hand and eye coordination and fine motor skills so this is a little complicated involving four or five skills together see he forgot which bowl i had pointed out so this is very essential for us to keep them concentrated and to help them in their memory so this is a memory game a concentration game and hand and eye coordination game and a fine motor skill development game of course and numeracy skills also so too many skills involved in this right this can be played by even 5 year old children you can involve the same thing you can point to one um bowl at from a distance so they need to run from one edge of the room to the other or hop and come or crawl and come and then put back the respective number into the bowl so that can be modified you can add physical um, activity to the same thing which has been done that is if you have space at home so you can see now right so this is it at least 5 to 6 bowls if you have then it is a little bit of the child to remember which bowl now this activity can be played by any age group including you the mothers and the fathers even you can play this game it is very very good for this you will need a spoon five to six same type of things uh, bowl and the green piece so i put the green piece into the bowl and the child is supposed to hit onto that green piece now what is this going to help this activity will help in observation skill and hearing skills because when they hit onto the bowl there is a kind of a sound which is been created so that is their auditory skill their motor skill because the hand needs to move so that that means visual and motor they need to see and move their hand so visual motor skills auditory skills so this is what it is going to help you can keep the bowls at a distance and ask the child to play again right so if there are too many bowls say if you have around 6 7 bowls then again it's going to make the thing complicated for the children right the pattern of the bowl arrangement also makes the game complicated this is an excellent game for the children to be occupied for a longer time just needs kitchen ingredients and nothing else apart from that right only thing is probably you need to remember that you need to pick up green peas when you go for your vegetable shopping right so i hope you will try these so i have now i put it into the into a straight line and then trying to place the peas so they need to concentrate and see where am i placing the Mm, green pea so this is an excellent activity again for the concentration right make as many patterns as possible so do try this activity and once you have tried this uh, 
do tell me in the comment section how useful it was and if you have liked it please do like share and subscribe and forward it to your friends thank you so much shweta signing off from magurukul